Okay, let me hit up here. You guys can help us with your technical skills, so we really appreciate you. For many reasons, for sure. Hi, everybody. Hi, pastry. Thank you all for showing up. A lot of smiles out there. I really appreciate the students who have taken the time to show up. I know it's an unprecedented time and I know it's really hard to show up, but thank you guys for making the effort from all over the country. So, um, I, there, there's work going on in my kitchen upstairs, so I'm going to just do a quick lecture to follow up with chocolate work. Um, this is on your tar. And many of you who went through pastry already made petty four and chocolates and filled chocolates. Um, the other day I quickly went through chocolate lecture. Um, so I have a milk chocolate. We made some filled chocolates last week. Um, and I know it's a new class, but we'll go through filling chocolates again. Um, this. I don't, don't know if you guys can see, but this is a Giandulia. So a Giandulia chocolate is a mixture of hazelnut and milk chocolate. It's very popular in Switzerland, Italy, um, and America. We can talk about hotels if you guys want, by the way. Um, so a lot of this work is done from hotels. I don't want to get off topic, but our, our industry has changed, you know. When I started out, we were doing all of this. Um, the other day, we talked about a white chocolate. Um, a white chocolate is not considered real chocolate from chef's point of view. Um, but it's delicious, and it's America's uh, favorite chocolate. It's really just cocoa fat and sugar and milk solids. Um, so, let me see. Um... I have another video that I can repost of pouring some chocolates, but these, for example, are chocolate truffles made in a mold. So in class, we were also making them by hand, and I'll do a demo on that, which is ganache, and some people are nodding their heads because they went through the class, and they're piped out, and a truffle... Uh, I'm sure many of you know, but is actually named after the mushroom. So a lot of you guys went through Garde Manger, um, and it's a mushroom that grows underground. A true truffle is actually, these are formed truffles. So I, I did them in a mold. So they look perfect. They're great. Um, but you, a traditional truffle is piped out, which we do in class a lot, and then actually rolled in um, chocolate and uh, cocoa powder, bittersweet cocoa powder, or a powdered sugar. It's named after the mushroom because it's like actually misshapen. Um, so it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's shaped like differently. Um, these are examples, these are examples um, of basically a nice formed truffle. So the shell was poured first and then a filling was put in. And um, we did them the other week. Um, these, I have uh, my friend Dave. He's getting married um, at the end of this year or maybe next year. And so I'm doing a lot of truffles for his party. And um, this is something that some of you were expressing interest in, like little side jobs that you could do at home. And so things like weddings things like um, just little things you can you can actually do at home. I'm in a space right now with not a microwave or a I should get a little hot plate in this area for my lectures. Um, but this and I know some of you worked with it in my class. These are cocoa fats. These are this is cocoa painting. This is actually on your char. Um, and I don't have many brushes. A lot of our stuff is out at Job Corps itself. You always actually want to be wearing gloves with sugar and chocolate work. Now, when we go back on center, it's 
they're saying we will have enough gloves and everything for every and masks but the gloves are really more than surf safe they're because the oil in your hands for sugar and chocolate work last week i was pulling sugar um some of you watched that it was it's been really humid here it, there's been a lot of moisture so i don't even know because i just had to oh i don't know if i can get any of this out just a little bit okay so I mean, again, some of you were um, in the class, you know, I'm going to miss, I already do miss having the restaurant because that was really, um, I and Chef Toy, I know he feels the same way. It made, it made our classes flow to have sort of a purpose, you know, and you guys are great. You got really into doing the restaurant. So this stuff is expensive. Um, so the best way to handle it, one of these is like 30 or 40 bucks, what, just one. So a lot of pastry work gets very expensive. So you, it's actually very important to know how to deal and work with it. Um, just like any other product, you're going to impress your employers by having an understanding of how to work with the ingredients. Sometimes at Job Corps, that stuff wasn't talked about enough, but it's actually really, really important. And it's talked about at the Cordon Bleu and private cooking schools because what it's... Uh, sorry, I don't have a lot of brushes even, but I have some tools. So that's it. On Monday, I went through uh, chocolates and some of you guys watched that video or saw it. Um, so this again is the part of the cocoa bean that's just cocoa fat. It's a saturated fat, those who get into nutrition. And right now, let me see. I mean, that's it. You're painting. You're painting small. I don't have, you know, you're painting. So some of this work, who knows, if you guys are very dedicated into your pastry work you can do this you could set up a few things and I don't know if I even have another brush I'm sorry I thought I had the kitchen and could do sauces today but that's okay so um you know you can make You can make your own uh, cocoa paint from cocoa butter, the same kind of cocoa butter that is actually even sold in um, Walgreens or a pharmaceutical for sunbathing, basically. Um, but even this. Like a simple, a simple design is sort of the way in general to go um, with, I mean, not always, you can get more and more extravagant, but um, there's a, there's a very nice chocolate shop down at the Westfield Shopping Mall in San Francisco. And unfortunately that's closed with coronavirus, but it's all like small little techniques. Um, at Job Corps, we don't have a lot of tools, so... Those of you who went through my class, I'm encouraging you to use what you have. But it's sort of like less is more or little flowers. Like, woo, like a little example or for the wedding. Let me see. For the wedding, we're just doing initials. Like a D. Well, that's not, that's not really... <laughs> That's not what I want. I only have one brush, guys, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to. But um, <laughs> this is a mountain. Some of you are in my class. This is a little, um, a little sort of mountain shape, and I would dip it in white chocolate. Um, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is in its own, and I know some of you were in my pastry class, it, this in its own right this in, it, in its own right is showing technique that it was properly cast into the chocolate mold. And so you don't need to do a lot of like painting. What I sometimes see in the class, 
and I don't know when we're going to go back, but this is what I sometimes see, and I'll sacrifice one, because this in its own sake takes a long time to know how to cast and to set the chocolate, and so it's an espresso inside. It's like a coffee bean, so sometimes you just see this over the top, and it's no offense, and it's not because people aren't artistic. So when I hear students say, Chef, I'm not artistic, because I'll hear that a lot. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. But our trade is like a combination of structure and create creativity. So you have to sort of be able to take direction with this on a job, because they're going to want specific patterns. Um, this, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty much kind of a thing of the past. Um, but again, on Monday I talked to some students and it's great people drop in every time who can drop in and come to the class. Um, and I highly encourage people to, I mean, I, I know it's, it's uh, sort of obvious probably, so I'm not trying to downplay it, but you have to think outside of the box right now. These are very stressful, unprecedented times. Somebody asked me on Monday, do you think the industry will go back to what it was? And I'm honest. I don't, I don't think it will. I don't think it will anytime soon. And I'm not saying that to be depressing or to be a downer, but because I'm